everyone and welcome back to my channel. If you're new here and like the content, please don't forget to subscribe. Before I start this video, let me just give you a situation really quickly. And this is just my imagination. Let's say the alarm goes off in the morning, you wake up, it's a perfectly fine day, you brush your teeth, have your tea or coffee, but now it's time for you to get ready. So you open your closet, go through all the pieces that you have spent your money on only to find yourself in a confused state of mind and you get that sinking feeling of having nothing to wear. Wait, so you're telling me that this is not my imagination, but it's actually something that you go through every morning when you're trying to put together an outfit? then this video is definitely for you. So I have decided to create a five part series where I will show you how to build your capsule wardrobe step by step that will make your life easier when it comes to building the outfits or styling in general. And there are no shortcuts because everybody is different and everyone has a lifestyle that should be taken into account when buying certain pieces and spending your money. So it does require a lot of patience, but hopefully by the end of the series, you will have a very clear idea on what to buy and where to save your money and how to build your capsule wardrobe so that you can take that first step and start your own journey towards a sustainable but achievable fashion. And please don't set any unrealistic expectations because building a wardrobe that works for you can take a lot of time. So I will repeat myself, have some patience because this can take couple months, six months or even a year. So listen to everything that I have to say in this video very carefully so that we all are one step closer to our goal. Let's start part one, which is finding your personal style. Style. So the first step when it comes to finding your personal style is to stop looking for inspiration on the outside and by this I mean social media and this also includes my own videos and I will tell you the reason why because this is one major contributing factor which is giving you the feeling that you don't have enough pieces in your wardrobe. When you look at someone online wearing a particular piece you see that it looks very good on their body but when you actually go and spend your money on that thing you eventually realize that it does not look that good on your body so you put it in your closet maybe one day it will work out maybe one day this will go with some other piece hence you spend a lot of money and now you have one extra piece in your closet that doesn't even work for your body type so it is very important that after you watch this video you actually turn off uh, that part of social media at least for a week take a step back and analyze your own lifestyle. And in my personal opinion, I think the best way to analyze your lifestyle is to build an activity log. As the name suggests, this is just you logging your activities, but at the same time, you have one extra column on the side where you say, what is the outfit that you wore for that particular activity? Now, let's just make it more clear by giving you an example. Let's say you have a nine to five job. So Monday to Friday, you go to the job, you come back and you change your outfit. So every day you will have two to three hours outfits one will be your night suit and the second one will be something that you wear to the office and the third one maybe you're going out for dinner or something so that's your third outfit so every day you will log all three of your outfits from monday to friday and then on weekends maybe you like playing badminton you like playing golf so you log your outfits for those particular activities typically i suggest that you do this for a week ideally two weeks because that will give you a more detailed idea on um, uh, which pieces are your go-to and what are the pieces that you are repeating again and again but please make sure that you pick a week that is your typical week and not the one where you are on vacation or doing something that you do maybe once or twice a year so instead of going on social media looking for inspiration you now have a visual representation in front of you that actually screams out loud what your lifestyle is and what you actually need from your wardrobe this way you will have a much better idea on what your requirements are and not to spend hundreds of dollars on a mini skirt that will never see the light of the day. A very important step in finding your personal style is to analyze your body type and know what your body type is. Now, if you're someone who is confident that they know their body type and you, you are 100% sure that you have the correct answer with you, then you can skip to step number three but let's just uh, do a detailed breakdown on how to analyze your body type now the reason why i say that this step is very very important is because if you don't know what your body type is uh, then none of the pieces that you're buying online will look good on you maybe there's a five percent chance that you accidentally bought a piece that looks good for your body but uh, there's 95 percent chance that uh, you are buying the pieces that are not working for your body type and there are five main body types rectangular hourglass pear shape 
apple and inverted triangle and sometimes it can be a combination of two body types and that is totally fine so let's go step by step on how you can easily determine your body type first step is to measure around the fullest part of your bust second you measure around the thinnest part of your waist and third you measure around the widest part of your hips and the fourth one to actually be able to precisely determine your body type is to measure around the widest part of your shoulders so this is your fourth measurement put down all these measurements in your notebook but at the same time you start to draw two dots for every measurement so for shoulders you have two dots and then for the bust and for the waist and then for the hips and when you connect all these dots you will have a visual representation of what your body shape looks like or what your body type is now if your shoulders are the widest uh, but your hips are very thin they are not that wide then uh, that means you are inverted triangle now, once you know your body type the next step which is also an extension of the previous step is to go on a website called concept wardrobe now i think this website is a best kept secret because every video that i see on youtube they take an example from this website i have seen the snapshots of all the pictures taken from this website all the references taken from this website and today i'm sharing this secret with you and it will give you a detailed list on what pieces will suit you according to your body type and this is such a useful website and such a useful resource i think uh, you should go to that website and uh, just read every article that is out there and this is not sponsored uh, trust me uh, that website has helped me a lot during my initial days when i was trying to build my own wardrobe but also take that piece of information with a pinch of salt because uh, there might be some pieces that are listed out there that you might not feel good in let's just say uh, you don't feel good when you wear wide leg jeans so maybe it's mentioned on the website that according to your body type wide leg jeans will look really good on you you can try but if you don't really feel good uh, wearing that particular thing then i don't think you will feel very confident in your outfit so uh, yes you can go to that website look at all the details but at the end of the day just wear something that makes you feel good and makes you feel confident and let me quickly give you an example so that it's easier for you to navigate the website uh, let's just say i'm an inverted triangle body shape so i will uh, just write it up on google inverted triangle concept wardrobe the first link that you will see will be from this website it says inverted triangle body shape a comprehensive guide and if you go down there uh, the content will be what are your characteristics how you can style your body type which types of tops and bottoms will suit you the best so it tells you what kind of necklines will uh, flatter your body type and what kind of sleeves will suit you best uh, jackets, coats, so things like that. It's very detailed. This will give you a starting point because obviously uh, in this video the time is restricted and I cannot explain everything for all the body types. Maybe after this we can start a series where I will show you guys what are different body types and uh, what are the different styling techniques that you can use according to your body type so that will be something that I will think about let me know in the comment section if you want me to do that but let's just quickly jump into the next step now that you have a clear idea on what your lifestyle is all about what you want out of your wardrobe and what is your body type which tops and bottoms will suit best for your body shape the next step is to find your aesthetic what your wardrobe should look like what the colors will be and what is one thing that you really want to convey by using your outfits and the best way to do that is to create a pinterest account again not sponsored it's totally free if you don't have an account you can create one it's very easy and you can thank me later or you can just subscribe to my channel and I want to make this process of finding your personal style as simple as possible for you guys. So let me just show you the whole process on how Pinterest works. 
you start with a simple Google search, uh, just type Pinterest and the first link that you will see will be Pinterest.com. Just go to that link and on the top right corner, you will see two options. One will be login, second is sign up. If you don't have an account, just click on sign up and then create an account using an email ID and a password. So once you have done that, it will ask you a few questions, uh, the ones that you see on my screen here, after which they will ask you what are your interests. So you have to pick five categories for me the first one will be fashion and then let's just uh, pick any random categories like nutrition life hacks etc once you are done this is what your pinterest homepage will look like now let's say i'm interested uh, in minimal outfit ideas i'll go up in the search bar and type minimal outfit ideas the results will generate a lot of pictures and if something catches your eye let's say i like this outfit a lot uh, then you just click that red button that says save and that's it that means you have saved that picture to your profile or your board and then you just repeat the process so once you have saved at least 20 outfits just go to that board and look at all these pictures and see if you can find a pattern here and i want you to define your style in three words not more than three nothing less than three let me give you an example again uh, let's just go back to my pinterest board and there are three words that comes to my mind right away number one is minimal second neutral and third is timeless these are the three words that really resonate with me and my personal style and i think everyone out there should have these three magical words that they can go back to every time they are confused or trying to buy something new for their wardrobe so just like our previous steps i think this gives us a very strong visual representation of what you actually want out of your wardrobe and next time you go out to buy something you can keep these things in mind and not be waste money on items that do not align with your aesthetics. I will keep the next step very short and simple. At this point, you can also take some personal quizzes uh, online, which are totally free. And I will leave some of the links in the description box down below. And by the end of this quiz, they actually tell you uh, what your aesthetic is like and what your style is like. So this is again something, an additional resource where you can go to uh, just in case you are still confused on uh, what your style is like. Once you have the results and you also have a Pinterest board in front of you and you try to connect all the dots i think you will have a very clear idea on what you are leaning towards when it comes to your personal style now i will not take much of your time let's just quickly jump on to the final and the last step which is finding your color palette and your undertones undertone can be three types warm cool and neutral just look at your skin under natural sunlight and if your veins appear blue uh, then that means you have a cool undertone but if they appear green that means you have warm undertones but if you cannot decide because they are a mixture of both blue and green that that means you have a neutral undertone another easy way to determine your undertone is to take a white piece of cloth put it against your skin and if it appears pink or blue, uh, then that means you have cool undertones. But on the other hand, if it appears yellow or it has a golden undertone, that that means you have a warm undertone. Now, at this point, you cannot really tell because I have some makeup on, but I have mixture of both uh, green and blue veins. So I have a neutral undertone, but I lean more towards warm. Have you ever wondered why some colors look good on some people and on others, it looks really boring and bland that's because you are not dressing according to your color palette there are some colors that really flatters your skin tone your complexion and your undertones but then there are some colors that really washes you out and they are not meant for you basically so the next thing that you would also want to notice is your eyes and hair color if your eyes are gray vibrant green uh, blue or violet then that means you have uh, some tendency to lean towards cool undertones or if you have uh, hazel brown black or those dark ember eyes then you lean more towards warm undertones now again it's the same thing when it comes to your hair color if you have chestnut brown rich brown or caramel that that means you have warm undertones why this is helpful is because if you are a warm undertone person then gold jewelry looks best on you and like i said i am leaning towards warm but at the same time i am like neutral undertone uh, that's the reason why i I wear so much gold jewelry because it complements my skin tone it complements my complexion and second why you need to be aware of your undertones is because 
this will help you determine your color season now this topic is very vast and it has so many steps in it to determine your color season or your color palette that i cannot cover it in this video under a small step this has to be a dedicated video in itself but if you are just starting out to build your capsule wardrobe and for the purpose of this series i think i have a shortcut method for you what i want you guys to do is to collect all the rainbow colors from your wardrobe and put it in a pile in front of you then just start filming yourself and then one by one put all these colors against your skin like this against your face just film it for a few seconds and then change it to the next color and finally i want you to sit down analyze these clips and make a list of colors that you think works best for your skin tone your undertones and if you are confused regarding a color then again beg borrow steal uh, the same color from maybe your best friend and try to wear it for a day and see how you feel in that color if you feel happy comfortable and if you are getting a lot of compliments then that means that color is for you and mark my words this is a really useful tip because next time you are on social media you are looking at my get ready with me uh, on instagram wearing this bright green dress uh, and then you have a thought oh maybe i should click on the link and buy this dress but then suddenly you remember there's a clip of you against a bright green color where you look like <laughs> so you don't want to buy that dress just save your money uh, think hundred times before buying something i think this is like the first step to building your capsule wardrobe and i really hope this part one was useful because i researched a lot i compiled everything that i could think of uh in this part one and part two yes i will be revealing uh some of the basic pieces that i'm going to use in my capsule wardrobe and i will also tell you whether these pieces will work for you or what exceptions you guys need to make in order to make your own capsule wardrobe so uh part two will be very interesting as well and if you find this video helpful please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and i will see you guys in part two bye